Hi, welcome to Sparkling Memory, a place we could build healthy relationship with food pairs and yourself. And today we're also going to be making some roasted potatoes. We're going to use some red instead of some Idaho. A few ingredients we needed to get started. First, we're going to head and peel the potatoes, about four or five. And we want to put them in some cold water. Next, we have the ingredients. The potatoes, your cutting board, your peeler, olive oil, onion, garlic, paprika, our purpose, foil, and a bowl. Of course, we're going to need a long tray in order to put in oven if you plan to bake it. The first thing you want to do is put a gentle amount of olive oil into a bowl with the potatoes. Then you add a seasoning, first the garlic, then the onion powder. Our purpose with salt and paprika. And you want to go ahead and toss them within the bowl. So it looks something like this. Of course, we're going to start at 350, but right now it's not there as yet. So we're actually going to prepare it before actually put it in the oven. I also like to add thyme with mine. A little bit more paprika to give out color. It also has this great value too. All the herbs that you put together. So each one does serve a purpose, especially when it comes to taste. Once it's halfway through, it's going to look something like this. You want to go ahead and take it out of the oven and you want to go ahead and toss them. Because you don't want one side completely cooked and then the other side like mushy. You want them have to have a good crisp taste. If it's too crispy, then it turns into chips. It turns into french fries. It is so complicated when it comes to these things. Because it all depends on how thin it is, how long it takes to cook. So you just want to go ahead and flip them over. I also like to add some other oil with the foil paper so you don't actually stick to the pan. Some people like to just put in a pan with some parchment paper. That's great too. I would not recommend any wax paper with this. Or parchment paper, yes. I prefer the foil. And just go ahead and get most of it tossed. Yeah, it might take a few minutes. I like to add other things to it, like parsley sometimes, just for the color. Of course, parsley has its own benefits too. So let's not think it doesn't. All herbs have a purpose. Not just look pretty. Some of them actually give you some kind of health benefits also. Then you want to go ahead and put it back into the oven. See, now it's at 350. It's going to be at 350 for a good few minutes. I'm going to say about 45 to about an hour. Depends on the size and the thickness. So next time, it's going to sit around for sparkling memories. Bye-bye.